Hey guys, it's Drumrun669, and welcome to the Minecraft Snapshot 1238. I think it's either A or B, but... Uh, sorry for all of this mess. Uh, some silverfish spawned when I put some, uh... When I put some, uh... Stone down and broke it by accident. But don't pay any attention to that. Come on. Um... So, I'm going to start you guys off with some sounds first for the brand new update that's coming. I don't know when it's coming, though. And I thought I'd start off with this one because, I don't know, just because it's the newest thing. So, let's start off with some sounds. Let's listen to the soul sand sound, the wood sound, the stone sound, and the gravel sound, and the grass sound. If you listen right now, the grass sound. It sounds pretty, like, soothing, just, like, nice... And that's the beak, and we'll get to that in a minute. It's like a nice soothing sound. Now let's get to the soul sand. This kind of sounds like you're trudging in mud. Now if we go over to the wood. Kind of sounds like creaky, kind of. When you place it, it'll, when we place these blocks, it'll secure it too. You walk on the wood, very small change. I mean on the stone, very small change. Can't really hear anything as much, but this sounds a lot like the soul sand, but a lot quicker, obviously, because the soul sand slows you down. <coughs> so that's the sounds. Now let's put all this in here for later. And let's get out these blocks. This this is resembling wood. But you know what? I'll get wood out because some people out there will be like, what? That doesn't make any sense. Um, let's get that soul sand. Oh, yeah, and sand also has a new... I almost forgot. Sand also has a new sound, too. forgot about it. If you listen right now, sounds like the soul sand and the gravel a little bit. And you heard what it sounds like. Here's what it sounds like when uh, these are getting placed. Let me get the gravel. Okay, gravel. So, okay. Sounds like you're trudging in mud again. Let's place the wood. Oh, no, not again. Oh, dang it. You'll have to deal with the silver first. Sorry, guys. You know what? Let's just turn the, uh, or turn the sound off for a little bit. Or, like... Okay. So, and some animals have... And zombies have some new sounds. So let's go in here. And spawn. <coughs> um, I don't know what we should spawn. I'm trying to remember what has the new noises. Don't worry, we'll get to all those in a minute. Okay, so a pig has a new noise. Very subtle. It's kind of hard to make them do it. It's, I, they have like a small, small sound. Like, that was a little hard to notice. The one that's a lot easier to notice is the cow. Oh, if you guys just heard that. <clears throat> And if you and if you uh, aggro them, then they'll and they'll run and you'll hear them stampede. As you hear them stampede off, kind of. Uh, the next thing we sh are gonna spawn is a sheep. 
And there's a new sound for shearing wool off them. So if I can find the shears. Let's just look at the mess. Stop. Yeah, you hear that? Come on, let me get rid of that noise. I don't answer private calls. Okay. So, um, you heard that little clickety sound of the sheep? I'll do it again. You heard that? So that, there's a lot of new sounds implemented in this Minecraft. There's also a lot of skeleton sounds, which we're going to go do right now. Okay. There's skeleton and zombie sounds. And Enderman. <coughs> okay, all of you can get out of here now. And there's also a new texture for me, as you guys can see on the ground. That was in another update, so I wasn't going to show that. And when you also increase to a new level like I just did, it does that really delightful sound. Uh, so let's put in a skeleton. And hit him. When you hit him, he sounds kind of bony. He sounds pretty bony when you hit him. And if he moves around. If you move him around. He seems sounds bony too. Thanks for coming. Let's just put that there. Okay. So the next thing is the inner man. They're making really scary sounds now. I'm trying to make the Enderman even more scary. And I don't know where they went. Uh, they don't make any noise when you move them around. Zombies. They make kind of trudging sounds. When you hit them, they make the same noise, so. Nothing new there. And that's all the sounds. Now for, I mean, no, there's one more sound. The ladders. Listen. Sounds like you're going up some creaky stairs. <coughs> and I, then last thing, I didn't get to place the wood for you guys. It sounds creaky. When you break it, it sounds the exact same. And then last is source and like I already did. And stone I already did. So uh yeah. Let's just put that back. Or sand. So now there is a new texture for a beacon. Uh this thing looks better if you stand in it. This thing just goes all the way up. Let's follow it. As you can see, pretty high. Okay, now for the new characters. And a bit more features. So we'll need the carrot on a stick. We'll need the... You saw those. These, this is a, okay, I'll just get to this now. These are brand new textures for, they're called tunics now. It was called tunic in here, but now it's called leather. It's a brand new uh, texture pack for that, and you can actually now color these, which is very nice. That was last, uh, last update, though. So, let's go back into the chest. Um, I think I have everything out of that chest now. Okay, so now there are witches, and they will spawn in NPC villages protecting the villagers, uh, kind of like the iron golems. 
So if I was to game mode zero, I wanted to hit them. Oh, there is now. It has a little friend helping it. <coughs> but as you can see, see those potions are hurt. It's helping me defeat the silverfish. Bam. Okay, so as you can see, uh, they like to chuck potions at you. And right now it's killing itself. But, um, yeah, so it likes to, and then when you hit it, it likes to heal itself with some potions, so it likes to chuck potions at you. The next thing are bats. These are brand new features, they're kind of meant, these bats are just meant to be cute, not like those, uh, ones that are in, uh, horror movies or anything that, like, bite into your neck or anything like that. They're just meant to... I might have to kill this bitch. <laughs> um, so, they're not meant. See, when you hit when you hit her, she has that little potion thing in her hand. But she doesn't drop anything yet, but that'll be changed. And I don't think bats drop anything yet. They're just uh, neutral mobs. Probably drop like one XP if you kill them. But uh, they're just meant to fly around and just kind of be there. They'll spawn in caves. And witches will probably spawn in NPC villages. Or It would be really sweet if like you went underground and they had like a little headquarters. Like they had a potion center. They had like an enchantment center like underground. And if you had to find it like almost like a ravine or something like in one of those. And you could find it, and there would be, like, a couple witches in there. And if you were able to kill them, then you'd get all the loot they'd have, like, the potions and all that kind of stuff. That would be awesome. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all I'm supposed to cover. If I come up with anything else, I will sure be sure to notify you guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and enjoyed how annoying silverfish are. Um... Yeah. Oh, one more thing. We need to spawn a pig. And then that'll be the last feature of the day. Let's find a pig. Okay. So now when you spawn a pig and you put a saddle on it. And you put a saddle on it. Bam. And you sit on it. It now makes a trudging sound when you go with it. And you can maneuver it around, and now it can actually, like, jump over objects and move you places. So if you're in multiplayer and you want to have a nice, uh, entrance going with a pig, or if you want to escape from some angry people that want to kill you in full diamond armor, you might want to escape on your little pig here. And it's just sprint. And, uh, yeah. So that's the features. Um, and the, the carrots now make the pig follow you, as you probably knew. So now you don't need that wheat for the pigs or, uh, to follow you. You can use carrots now, too. So, um, thank you for watching this tutorial. If this helped, uh, describe what is coming and excited you, please like the video. If it didn't excite you, give it a dislike, tell me why the hell you hated it, and unsub to my channel. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding around about that, but, uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys later.